welcome. Today we're actually going to look at these. These are the feature socks. Uh, and they're a fairly short sock. Oh, look at that. Good to note. I've had these for like three weeks and taken maybe 10 runs in them and I have a hole. And they're like $22, $25 Canadian. So I can actually maybe say don't get them. Who knows? Um, hmm. Well, maybe that's just an aberration. Anyway, I have this red stuff on them. I didn't have any shoes with red in them. It's interesting as well. Well, <laughs> maybe that's laundry. So these have a, a left and a right shoe and they, a left and a right foot, sorry, see the R. It's been a long time since I had those. And they're actually, I found them to be a little thicker than I expected. And, um, but I mean, they're comfortable. I've run in them a bunch of times. I actually generally like, coming from a cycling background, cycling thing is always to have long socks. And so I actually like longer socks than this more. These come up over the ankle. Um, but they're not bad. Um, yeah, I was actually going to say I was super, super happy with them. They were pretty good. I just like longer socks because, you know, cycling and stuff. And maybe a little bit thinner sock because uh, it's getting getting to be warmer out here uh, in BC. But, you know, that hole kind of frustrates me. <laughs> I don't know what to say now. Um, yeah, that hole kind of frustrates me. Other than that, they've been really good. So I guess I'm going to have to come back to these uh, again in a few months and in a month or so and see how they lasted. I've actually been wearing a bunch of socks from Twin Six, which is a bike company um recently and they've been i've been wearing them for a long time but they've been really really good uh, i've just finally started to wear through them which is why i've been looking for more socks um and they're a higher sock they come up a uh, double ankle height or something they probably double the height of this and they come in a bunch of cool fun patterns um i got white checked ones right now the only pair i have left uh, and they're totally get trashed so um other than that i have a bunch of smart wool stuff um smart wool yeah smart wool couple smart wool couple icebreaker that just can look fun they're all you know they're blue and yellow and stuff like that um i just wear those regular socks as well so i guess that's it today other than that uh, as a report on the week i have a bit of a calf strain on the left side so i am taking uh, i ran monday i ran 10k actually ran a pretty good time uh, but i'm taking off uh tomorrow I took off yesterday uh tomorrow would be uh i guess a flat workout with uh, the local running club but i won't be doing that I'll probably hop on my bike and just go Go tool around for an hour and a half or so and get my heart rate up and uh, just to keep some of the cardio going. But uh, I need to rest on the impact side and let's just go running with a friend on Friday afternoon. So I'll look at, at that. We're supposed to go on a fairly, fairly easy trail for me. We're introducing him to the trail. So, um, and that might be a 13 or 15K. And I'll see how I feel after that. I might just go for another um, bike ride again on Saturday morning just to get the heart rate up and just enjoy the. And it sucks to be injured on a week when you're getting like beautiful sun and like almost 30 degrees Celsius a couple days, but that is what it is. So I'd rather rest and heal up and be able to get back at it in a bit. So thanks for watching. Um, that's the update. Other than that, I think I'm really good training wise. I'm, I'm in good. I'm in good shape. I'm kind of losing weight all around, changing shape a bit and I'm pretty happy with how everything's been going until we have this injury. I'm still not, I'm not unhappy, but just need to maintain it. And I think it probably came from six big weeks like six 60k weeks in a row uh and um yeah which i kind of want to be at most of the time but just going hard um a lot yeah that's it and i will take some rest and i need to roll out better i need to be stretching better which i'm sure like every runner always says and uh i think i'm well on track uh to finish off my second i'm wearing my sweater today my second frosty 50k um and then to scout the stuff around uh, Chilliwack Lake later in the summer. Those are the big bulls. I'm going to scout both sides of the lake um, for a route that go around the whole thing on the peaks. Um, and run the frosty. That's my only goals. If I can actually run that whole route around that lake, then I'll do that as well. Um, but really, that's it. I won't do anything else uh, planned. Uh, my wife has started talking about doing a splitting and around the lake 30k together. So I'd run the 16. We'd trade kids and then she'd run the 14 part of it. Um, just cause she's still getting back from our, our last child to, to be in shape enough to run that. And then she ran, uh, ran all the trail part of it this last weekend, actually with a friend. So she did not run the flat bit at the end, the last three K, four K. Um, but she ran the nine, she ran nine K of it, which is all the hard trail parts. So that's good. She's already still, she knows she's ready for that already. Anyway, that's where we're at. Wish me luck in healing. Hopefully uh, next week I can tell you that I'm, you know, back to running, you know, full time and not, not taking time off, but we shall see.